Creating Accessible PowerPoint Presentations Chapter 1, Color, Font and Alt Text This training video is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. PowerPoint contains a collection of preset slide themes. Choosing the correct theme for your slides is one of the most significant steps you can take to ensure that your slideshow will be accessible. Start in the Design tab. Then choose a design. Let's assume for this training, that you choose the highlighted design below. Next to the variants there is even a drop-down menu where you can automatically change the colors of all elements in your scheme at once. Or if you simply need to change one element to make the color scheme meet accessibility standards, you can do that by customizing your slide. At the bottom of the colors drop-down is, Customize Colors. From there you can change the color of an element. In this case, Accent 1. You can change it from light purple, to a higher contrast, yellow. Hyperlinks are very often represented in non-accessibility compliant color. Please take time to ensure any hyperlinks are presented in colors that meet accessibility standards. As with all other file formats we have discussed, all visual objects, such as symbols, charts, logos and images, in your PowerPoint presentation require alternative text, alt text. Simply, right-click on the object, choose, edit alt text. And type in a description of the object and its context for persons with visual disabilities. Meeting accessibility standards on color contrast is to help ensure enough contrast exists between text and its background so that it can be read by people with moderately low vision, who do not use contrast-enhancing assistive technology. Text alternatives are a primary way for making information accessible because they can be rendered through any sensory modality. For example, visual, auditory or tactile to match the needs of the user. Providing text alternatives allows the information to be rendered in a variety of ways by a variety of user agents. For example, a person who cannot see a picture can have the text alternative read aloud using synthesized speech. A person who cannot hear an audio file can have the text alternative displayed so that he or she can read it. For more information about this topic, or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility and Policy Unit at accessibilitypolicyunit at dss.ca.gov.